All right, so we we have a new story this week. Yeah. A new story this week is called no. Dishy Washy. Dishy Washy. Dishy -washy. Dishy -washy. Dishy -washy. What character does that remind you of? Oh, Dishy Washy. Raise your hand if you know. What character does that kind of remind you of? Autumn? Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Mrs. Wishy-Washy. Does anybody remember, like, at the beginning of the year, I said we're going to meet her husband? Yeah! Mr. Dishy-Washy is Mrs. Wishy-Washy's husband. So, yeah! Let's go. We're going to read the story. What? I love my friend Cameron. He's sitting crisscross applesauce's mouth. What's Cameron? Cook. I love that Zelaya and Zelaya. Are so quiet, they're not calling out. Autumn, thank you so much for raising your hand. I knew he was Mrs. Wishy Washy's husband. How did you know that? Because, because I saw the word Dishy Washy. Dishy Washy, that reminded me. Ahmad, thank you for raising your hand. I did tell you that we would see him later in the year. And guess what? It's the end of the year, so here he is. He came to visit. Last question, yes. Kayla. Wishy-washy, yeah. And what do you think Mr. Wishy-washy washes? Oh, oh. If it's Dishy-washy, that's the title of the book. What do you think? What's dishy your prediction? Wash. He washes the dishes. He does the dishes. What does Mrs. Wishy-washy wash? <laughs> she washes the animals. Animals, yeah. So let's read about Mr. Wishy-washy and what he does in his story. But today what we're going to do is we will retell Dishy-washy by sequencing the events. Who remembers what sequence means? Three people have an idea. Does anybody else think about it? We've done it a lot of times this year. What does sequence mean? What does sequence mean? Justice? Find. Say that again? Find. We're finding? No, that would be identify. Good try. <laughs> what does sequence mean? Autumn? <laughs> That segment, they do sound a lot alike. Sequence, let's go. Sequence means to put the events in order. Everybody say that with me. Sequence means to put the events in order. So first let's practice sequencing. Let's practice sequencing the frog. We did this the other day. Who knows, what comes first? Nate, come on up. What happens first in a frog's life? Not appropriate. They start as tadpoles? No. 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 Eggs. Eggs. No. Eggs. Yeah, that's first. So first they are eggs. Good. What comes next? What is next? Kamari? Then they're tadpoles. Good. What comes next? Zamir, I love the way you're sitting with a quiet hand. Crisscross applesauce board, in case no one trips over you. And what is what are they growing there, Zamira? They have back legs, yeah. The tail is almost up. You need to do it again. Try to get the arrow on the frog. There you go. Okay, let me try that. There you go. Now try. Dang it. Uh, all right. So I'm here. So we have a tadpole with back legs. Camera Sanders. Come on up. And what's that called when he has four legs but still a little bit of a tail? What's that stage called? Who remembers the name? Is it Zelaya? Early tadpole. Well, this is an early tadpole. This late is late, ta tadpole. late tadpole. This is... Oh. Froglet. Froglet. Good. I'm glad you were thinking. And last we have Kayla. <laughs> There will be more turns today. I don't want to see any sad faces. I'm not going to make a sad face. Thank you. Please don't fall out. Justice and Gabrielle. 
Good. And so what were we just doing? We were uh, put it in order. Putting it in order. And what's that big third grade word called? If we put it in order, it's a event. We're putting the events in order so we sequence. Sequenced. Yeah. And today we're going to do that with our story, Dishy Washy. So when we're reading it, I want you to think what happened first, what happened second, what happened third, what happened fourth. And what happened last? All right, so turn your bodies around. Kamari, that needs to go in your mailbox. I don't want to see them again. If I do, they're mine. I'm the only one in time. I'm the only one in time. Yes, I look like The black one looks like a teenager. I love how quiet Ty is sitting. He moves quickly. Camera, oh, look, you're doing great. The black one looks like a teenager. Yes, Gabrielle. It's written. It's written in the same. It's written by the same author and illustrator from Mrs. Wishy Washy. Good. And who is our author? Joy Cal. Yeah. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. In every story, the author writes the words. Turn your body, Mason. The illustrator. Thank you. And I want you to look at the book so you can have a turn later. Okay. All right, the illustrator draws the pictures, the illustrator draws the pictures, in every story, the illustrator draws the pictures. All right, so Joy Kelly was our author, that's what Gabrielle said. Who's our illustrator? Uh, Justice? Elizabeth Fuller. Yeah, and we do know that Elizabeth. they worked together, they collaborated on hey. Mrs. Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy Day. So, ready? Washington. That's actually on all the way across the country. And I see oh. Mrs. Wishy Washy and the cow. Yeah, she's washing the clothes and the animals back there. Yep. He, he washes cups and mugs. Dishy washy, dishy washy. So what is he doing? Raise your hand. Stop calling out, Gabrielle. What does he do at the beginning of the story? picture.
all in out. That's the second time. Third time your color's changed. You have to raise your hand before you speak, so let it turn around. Kamari? My cat likes water. Some do. Most do not. So let's find out what happens to Mr. Dishywash. Or Mr. Wishywashy. Yeah. He washes the cat's dish. Dishywashy. Dishywashy. He washes the cat.
So we have first, second, third, next, after that, then, and finally. So what happened first? Let's look at what our choices are. So hands are down. And let's read them. We have the dishes fell down. The cat stays away from dishwashing. He washed the cat. Good little cat. He washed the dishes. The cat jumped out. The cat jumped up. So what happened first? What happened at the beginning of the story? Gabrielle? Mr. Mr. Dishy Washy. Um, He washed the dishes. He washed the dishes. Come on up. He washed the dishes. That's what he was doing at the beginning. So grab, he washed the dishes and drag it all the way up to the top. Can you make it up there? There you go. Drag it all the way up. And that'll help you get it higher. There you go. So first. He washed the dishes. What did he do next? What did he do next? And I'm going to call people who have their hands up, their soul on their bottoms. Quiet hands, quiet hands. Uh, Kelsey, I haven't heard from you yet. Hands down. He broke the dishes? That's that's at the end, yeah. All right, let's look. The dishes fell down. The cat stays away from dishwashing. He washed the cat. The cat jumped out. Or the cat jumped up. Jumped up. washed the cat. How did the cat get to where he was washing it? Gabrielle Chris Crump Thompson's. Did he wash the cat or did the cat jump up? Yeah, the cat had to jump up first. Come on up. Mason, I'm not going to call on you with that loud hand. On your bottom. Chris Cross applesauce.
after that, the dishes go down. Justice? The, the cat stays away from dishwashing. Yep, come on up. And so what was he doing at the very, very, very end? Zelaya? He, he was tapping. Yeah, Mr. Wishy-Washy was much more careful, wasn't he? So come on up and can you write that for me? I think color. Oh, we are going to try black. So come on this way. Yep, I think it's all black. Oopsie. Oops. He got it. Okay, so here, go ahead and write, Mr. Wishy-Washy is careful. Try your best. You got it, just write like you would write, and then we'll fix it. That's this as a... Sweep over here and write careful. What letter do you guys be in? <laughs> careful. Okay. And what do you put at the end of a sentence? Period. Period. Very good. So, and I like how she tried her best the letters or wrote the letters she heard good job that's great writing all right so we summarize today we sequence by putting the um, events in order so let's read the events in order ready first he washed the dishes second the cat jumped up third he washed the cat next the cat jumped out. After that, the dishes fell down. Then the cat stays away from dishwashing. And finally, Mr. Dishy Washy is careful. Is that for Lori? So raise your hand if you can tell me what we did today. What did we do today? Autumn? We sequenced. We sequenced. And what does sequence mean? We go. Everything. 
everyone say that. Sequence to put it in order. Yeah. Good job. All right. We'll do that tomorrow. All right. So it is time for lunch. So tiptoe to your locker if you have. I just 